question number 7 this question is based on the concept of mutual induction there is a long wire and a triangular coil you can consider this long wire as a loop of infinite size infinite size when current in the triangular coil will be varied an induced emf will come in this infinitely long coil so we consider a strip at a distance x of thickness dx area of this strip is 2x dx and magnetic field on this strip due to wire is mu naught i upon 2 pi x so flux linked with this triangular coil is integral of b dot a which on integrating and writing flux as mi we get coefficient of mutual inductance which is mu naught upon 10 pi induced emf is m di by dt as far as direction is considered when current in the triangular coil is varied it becomes a magnet and its magnetic field lines point inward on this infinitely long coil and this inward magnetic field is increasing so induce current will produce a magnetic field does it that is opposite to applied field hence induce current will be in this direction another method is you can check for induced electric field and that induced electric field will come like this the component of induced electric field will be in direction of current thirdly as far as force is considered if you consider long wire and an element of this segment so effectively they repel each other similarly if you consider this long wire an element on this there is repulsion and since third side is farthest away it is being attracted but overall due to greater repulsive force of these two segments net force is repulsive so our answers are b and d question number 8 this question is based on refraction and partial reflection from a lens first we consider refraction we have been given the object distance and the image distance by using lens formula and proper sign convention we will get value of focal length that comes out to be 20 cm also for a plano convex lens focal length is given by n minus 1 by r next we consider the image of partial reflection which is a faint image from ray diagram it can be seen that the image formed is erect virtual and smaller in size by using mirror equation we can find out focal length f and since focal length f is r by 2 we get radius of curvature so since we know focal length of lens radius of curvature of the lens on substituting focal length f and radius of curvature in the equation for focal length and solving for n we'll get n equal to 2.5 so our answers are a refractive index is n equal to 2.5 delhi d so the focal length of lens is 20 cm c option is wrong because faint image is erect and virtual behind mirror so final answers are a and b question number 9 this question is a conceptual question in fact uh, the filament temperature is increasing and it is been given that due to evaporation continuously it is lo losing some element so due to evaporation 
the area of cross section is decreasing and due to decrease in area of cross section resistance is increasing so first thing is area of cross section has reduced so resistance has increased secondly it's given that applied voltage is constant so if resistance increase the power consumption decreases about frequency due to increase in temperature the frequencies emitted are increased in fact in radiation at higher temperature higher frequencies are obtained so frequency band increases so our answers are c and d question number 10 this question is based on dimensional analysis and this question can be very easily solved if we realize that from coulomb's law force is given by 1 upon 4 plus naught q square upon r square from coulomb's law we can easily derive the dimensional formula for q square upon f naught which will be force into r square and which comes out to be ml q t minus 2 similarly e energy energy is given by 3 by 2 kt where k is boltzmann constant so kbt has dimensions of energy that is ml to t minus 2 and finally n it is number per unit volume this dimensional formula is l minus 3 so all the options are based on q square upon f naught kbt and n on substituting values of these three we can easily verify the correct options so on substituting these we get answers b and d